Today, Earth experienced the second geomagnetic storm in the last three days, and the second radio blackout in the last three days. Let's see how it happened. Looking at three days of solar wind, we had a corona hole stream impact 36 hours ago. It did give us a geomagnetic storm. Up top, you see how the red went from flat to spiking up and down. That was the corona hole effect, and the dips below the center line were the magnetic disruptions, BZ negative from a south pointing magnetic field in the solar wind. CME and corona hole impacts tend to go up and down a good bit. But look over to the right. We have another BZ South situation, a sustained dip below the center line, but that's no impact from a CME or coronal hole. There is a sustained negative field to the solar wind at this time, and that is what's setting off our magnetosphere. The electron flux is also highly affected, hitting the floor at the start of the negative stream. And on the KP index, you can see we've entered our second geomagnetic storm. On to the D region absorption prediction the ionization from solar flaring. The up and down of the X-ray flux is what causes the colors to change. And a few hours ago, a medium strength ionization event blacked out the lower frequency end of HF radio communication capabilities right over South America. This occurred due to a solar flare from the big central sunspot region we saw this morning. The delta zones are not as strong, but this sunspot region has major size and a lot of magnetic connectivity across the group. The flare itself just crested up into M-class range and, like so many of these flares we've seen the last few years, failed to produce any notable ejecta. The surge appears to be contained within the fields, the umbral fields, and none seem to snap and release. You can see that much more clearly in this zoomed-in view in 171 angstroms. Charged particles surge to ultra-fast speeds, but not enough to cause a CME. For those advanced viewers, we could be in a sector boundary event for the solar wind. I'll see you in the morning. Be safe, everyone.